hello everyone today i am here to explain you how to calculate p value from ms excel so if you if so if you need to find the p value for your hypothesis you can carry simply using the ms excel you can easily determine the p value for your test and thereby conclude strong or the weak support of null hypothesis for this uh, for this before going further analysis you just need to check whether there is the data analysis tool pack in your uh, excel or not for that just go to the data and just uh, just in data on the current there is a data analysis box you just need to click it in some case data analysis box won't be there so for that we need to add in the data analysis tool pack for that you just need to go to the file and go to the option from option you can just go to the adding and from adding just this this lower section and just click go and there there you can see the analysis tool pack and you just make a tick mark there and do ok when you you do after do, after doing this you can just find the data analysis on your data tool so with this data analysis tool pack you can do various different types of analysis like uh, t-test covariance regression p-test uh, and various different types of tests you can carry out carry out from this so today today we will uh, just learn how to use uh, diff data analysis tool pack for uh, for uh, identifying the p value for determining the p value and let us suppose these two hypothesis that is the hours of the practice and the math marks in this uh, in in between this we need to calculate the p value so uh, for this uh, we just need to go to the data uh, data analysis click the data analysis and we will go for the regression mm, where it is the regression so just to click and uh, why just you can make uh, any any section y and you can make any section x i i'm going to select this section is y and uh, I'm going to select this section is X so just as I have uh, selected this hour practice and the math marks so I need to click on the label so do ok and here is your analysis and you can find various different types of analysis mm, like multi R R square adjusted R standard error observation Innova, uh, DF, SS, MS, F value, significant value, and various different uh, analysis you can find. And we will be focusing on this significant value. Is you can see the significance value is zero point five zero three seven seven. So this value is greater than zero point uh, zero five. So so the relationship between the hours practice and the math marks is not statistically significant so this this uh, this value is not statistically significant so using using this significant value you can say that the hour of the math practice and our our practice and the math marks is not statistically significant thank you